In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use X as a beginner and as someone who's new to the platform. I'm going to run you through and explain some of the features so you can get the best experience when using X. Because I personally really like X, but you have to kind of like tell it what content you're interested in for it to give you a specific feed relevant to your interests. Because when you first create an account, the feed isn't that personalized to you and you may not have a good time. So once you've first created your account, there are some fundamental things that you need to know. So if you're on the home page, you are going to see a feed. Now the most common feed that you're going to see is going to be the for you feed. So if we look to the top left hand corner, you can see it's called for you. We also have a following feed as well. And this will show all of the people's posts who we are following, but we're going to get to following later. First, let's talk about the for you feed. So this feed is designed to recommend you content that you engage with, that you like, and it's designed essentially to keep you on the platform for the longest amount possible. So as you use X more, as you interact with posts, it's going to recommend you posts and content that you will want to see, and it will know this and it will get better over time. So when you first create your account and you're not following anyone, you're probably going to get really random kind of posts, a lot of politics, some fight stuff. I don't know why they go really heavy on these politics and fights, but that just seems to be what I see on a new account all the time. Now, everyone here that's posting, you can see we don't actually follow them. We're just being recommended their posts because they performed well with a specific group of people. So here we have a account called MAGA Forever. Again, politics, but just ignore that. And it's an image with some text. Now, if we click on this post, you can see more details about it. You can see there are 12,000 comments. So there's a, a comment icon on the left. You can see there are 12K. There are 1.2K retweets, which essentially means that someone has reposted this onto their profile. There's 6,300 likes and 72 bookmarks. And we can do any of these as well. We can comment by clicking on the comment icon. And you need to understand that once you comment on a post, it is going to be public and everyone will be able to see these replies. You've then got retweet and that will essentially put this post onto your profile, just like you posted it. And it will be posted to all of your followers. And then you've got likes as well which again just adds essentially a number and then you've got your bookmarks too. If you scroll down, you're going to be able to see all of the replies and everything that people have been saying. And these replies have their own number of engagements. So you can see 95 on this one by Kathy, 136 on this one. And these are essentially views if you like. Now, if you really like a post and you like someone that had posted it, let's just say this one, you can go ahead and follow them. So maybe I want to follow Dodge Designer we can click follow here and then that's going to add them to our following and then we'll be able to see all of their posts in the following section. Once we refresh it, they should start appearing eventually. So that's for you and following. Now let's move on to the search icon. So if you go to search in the bottom left hand corner, you can then see more content. And again, this is designed to keep you on the app. And as you engage more and more with people on X by liking their comments, by replying to posts, you will obviously get then a feed which is more customized to you. But if we go ahead and scroll through these, we've got for you, trending, you've got news, sports, entertainments, and so on. And if you scroll down even more, you're going to find some hashtags. These are going to be based on your location and again, the things that you've engaged with. Now you can do a search. So let's just search for YouTube. And once we do that and search for YouTube, we're going to see all of the top people who have YouTube in their name. We can now view all of these posts and these are going to include the words YouTube. So right now we're filtering through the top posts with the word YouTube in them. But we can also go to latest as well and see all of these latest posts, which you can see come through really quick, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. And then you've got people and this is good if you want to find like specific people or maybe you want to find people with specific words in their title. So maybe I want to put here like marketer and we can find people with online marketer here. Look in the people section. So that's pretty handy as well. You've also got community. So we're on this community icon. You can see it's black at the bottom and we can search for different communities. These are essentially groups on X. These are quite new. And personally, I don't use these that much. And but you can discover new communities. And some of these have hundreds of thousands of members. Then you've got your notifications. Here you'll see if people engage with your posts or if you have any recommendations that X wants you to really look at. 
that you've got mentions here. So if anyone mentions you, then it will all come up here. Last but not least, we've got the messages. So if you click on the inbox in the bottom right, you can click and compose a new message to anyone on X as long as they have their public messages available. A lot of people have turned this off like public figures. So you're not going to be able to privately message everyone, but you could give it a go if you wanted to. If you go to your profile icon in the top left hand corner, you'll be able to then see your profile, also your bookmarks and your spaces. If we go to profile, you can see here my profile and here we can edit the profile. We can add a new profile picture, a new cover art. We can change our name and just everything to do with our profile. If we wanted to actually make a post, we could click on the plus icon in the bottom right hand corner and we could then post either text or we can go to the images button. We can open the images on our phone, on our camera roll. We can add GIFs, we can go live and you can try and click through these individual buttons and play around with them. But most people that post on Twitter, they post images, videos and GIFs and also text. So I'm just gonna put here, hello world and we're gonna post it as my first tweet or my first post. And here you can see now is live and essentially the whole world could see this. How do your posts get viewed by a lot of people? Well, you need to make engaging posts which relate to a people in a specific category. So go ahead and just post and share your thoughts, engage with other people, and you'll start to then build up people that are viewing your tweets and people that will essentially engage with you back. So that is X in a nutshell. I hope this video was informative and did help you out. I hope this quick video was useful.